The Alakberry Canal is now becoming a recurring decimal on eyewitness as it remains an eyesore with thousands of plastic bottles everywhere. The good news now is that there is a gradual cleanup exercise ongoing there as the cleaners return to site. But the residents think the ongoing exercise is not enough to rid the canal of the waste that is currently wreaking so much havoc in the area. We also sought to know what the local authority is doing to assist the state in clearing up this waste. Stay with us. A Lackberry Canal, stagnant, filled with plastic bottles. The stench is unbearable and it's become a breeding ground for mosquitoes. The difference between the last time we visited and now is the return of stationed cleaners. A few of them were on ground carrying out their duties. However, they operate with a single canoe, which appears insufficient considering the enormity of the task at hand. Some of the residents who spoke with us commended the return of the cleaners, but they believe it could be better. I think the Loma, Loma people are really trying, but their trying is not enough. They are, it's not enough at all. This planner is really giving us bigger decay. We are not enjoying this area at all. Mosquito is more than three much. We can't say it's much, but it's more than much. We are not enjoying this area at all. Whatever the, the government thinks they can do to this canal, to treat, they should try their best. We need more effort. They are trying. We need more effort. They should please and come and pack it. Because of snake and mosquito, is disturbing them inside the compound. Even we, that we are outside the air selling something, the odor is too much for, for us. And we cannot keep it enough. Please, we need more effort. They should please and come and do it. Anytime there's rainfall, we, we will see. I wish it was during the rain time that you people come here. You have to see what we were swimming in this thing. We know our governor is a, list, a listening government. Uh, governor. We want him, please, to come to our, our aid. After all, we are part of uh, this uh, uh, local government and we contribute our own quota and our votes to his uh, 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 occupancy. So please help us. We are, you are the one we can send to him. We cannot go there by ourselves. But we know he's a listening governor. And as we are saying now, he will listen to our problem. He should please come to our aid. In view of the sufferings of the resident here, we visited the local authority, which is closest to the people, to see if they had any plans to assist the state government in keeping the area clean. The canal is my local government. And definitely, I don't have to say because it's the responsibility of the Loma or the Green Doors and other things, or the state to do that, and I will not do any. I do. We, in our local government, at uh, environmental days, we go in there, we put people there to rake some and use even keno, this part of keno, to move some of these things out. But it's a day in, day out thing. It's almost a daily affair. Because you can see that that, can, that canal does not only stop at my local government, it extends beyond my local government. Are, are you with me? So this thing comes in. It's just like the stream. It's an influx. It comes into the, through the stream to, 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 to the canal. But all the same, what are we doing? We, 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 tr we try our best to make sure we remove this thing as we see them there. But it's kind of a, a repeated uh, uh, a, a recurrence thing. All we believe in, uh, all cannot be done in, in a day. Government has assured us that they're going to do something more permanent at that canal there. A clean environment no doubt breeds a healthy society. What the residents of Alakbere are exposed to as a result of this unclear drainage obviously leaves much to be desired. The eyewitness portal is available whenever you have a story to tell or share. Simply download the Channels TV app, tap on the eyewitness icon and follow instruction on how to get your photo or video uploaded. Always endeavor to add a form of contact such as email or phone numbers to enable us to get in touch with you for follow-up to your stories. Right now, let's see some of those you posted for the week. Our first video of the day comes from Godwin and it shows the plight of residents in Ogijo, Ishawa, Uwutu and more in the Korodu area of Lagos and Ogun State as flood overtook the entire stretch. 
This calls for a serious deliberation of the state of our environment and how to deal with these ecological challenges. Next video shows the clean state of Akerele Canal and this is a tribute to the dedication of the cleaners. Our eyewitness salutes their effort and therefore call on others to emulate their good work. We also have a video on the state of Ogulano Drive by Ichire Road, which is becoming bad. Richard Josh's photo shows a freshly completed tunnel in Port Harcourt Road by Concord Avenue Awere as it becomes a water reservoir. You say this tunnel was recently completed and now it's become unusable. Abudu James takes us to Aochi Nedo State, where gully erosion is posing a threat to Bini Abuja Expressway. You want the concerned authority to quickly do something fast. Dawane Emanuel also takes us to Benin Sapler Road, which needs urgent repair before more damage is done to the road. Abdul Hamid Baga draws attention to our threatening erosion in Sokoto Isa Road. This, you say, is becoming a source of pains to the people. Now that's the much we have for you today on Eyewitness Report. Do keep those photos and videos coming in and we promise we'll keep our eyes on you. I'm Chris Elems. Bye-bye.